Hey guys, what's up? Levi here with Food Flight VFX bringing you another tutorial today on how to use the new Mocha Pro's camera solving tool that just got integrated within the past week or so. So if you guys have followed along with any of our tutorials in the past, we've used Mocha AE and we've used Mocha Pro for a various number of things, but today we're going to be doing a camera solve to import and place a 3D object into our scene like so. So let's get started. So we have a clean plate of our footage here, and the first thing that we're going to do is do a camera solve. So instead of doing the traditional camera solve where we go to animation and click track camera, we're instead going to go to effect, choose BorisFX uh, FX Mocha, Mocha Pro, and then we'll launch Mocha. So Nude Mocha is this camera solve option. If we come down here, we click on camera solve. We have a couple different options that we can look at. First one is the motion type. Now is this normal motion, crash pan, or low detail? We're going to just choose normal motion because this is just a normal type of shot. And then we're also going to choose zoom length because we're kind of zooming outwards. I'm also going to uncheck the unknown for our focal length, make it 35 millimeters so that the camera we export is a 35 millimeter camera. You guys can of course choose whatever millimeter camera you like, but we're going to go ahead and just do 35 and we'll click on solve. So the solve went pretty quick, and as you guys can see here, we've got a nice little solve going for us. And if I go from our 3D perspective to our perspective, you guys can see here, we've got a 3D camera, and we've kind of got a point cloud. If I hold down Alt and click and drag, we can kind of rotate around. This is almost like a point cloud of our scene. So we'll go back to our camera perspective, and we'll scrap forward to the very end. We need to set the origin and ground plane. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this uh, track point right here. And on the left, uh, the right hand side, we're going to click on make origin, which centers our scene. And then we'll just click and drag and highlight some of these points that are on the surface of the table. And we'll click align to ground. And that kind of aligns our surface a little bit. And we'll just kind of click around until we find an orientation that, that looks all right. And that looks good right there. So the last step is just to click solve output. And that's gonna go through and it's gonna solve for our camera track. And it's going to essentially remove trackers that are uh, inconvenient. So it did remove 23 trackers. And then we'll click on export camera data. And we'll make sure After Effects 3D motion data is selected. And then we'll click copy to clipboard. Once that's done, we'll come up here and we'll close Mocha Pro. Make sure to hit save and then to import that camera and all the tracking markers we're going to go to edit and paste mocha camera so that is essentially created a camera and it's created 3d null objects for each of those tracker points so one thing i'm going to do here right off the bat is i'm going to select all of these null objects i'm going to hit the s key for scale i'm going to uncheck the stopwatch and we're going to make these a little smaller we're going to make them 15% and then I'm going to right click go to transform and choose auto orient and we're going to orient towards the camera and click OK and so now that's going to make all of the null objects face our camera and it's also going to make them smaller so it's in our scene more appropriately it's a little easier to manage so that's it um, we're done with the camera solve the next step would be to go ahead and import a 3d model now to do this i'm going to just create a new layer new solid i'm going to call it element and there's various different ways you can bring 3d models into after effects but i'm just going to use elements 3d so we'll apply element to that layer i'll go to scene setup and we're going to find a model that we'd like to use in this case i'm just going to go to the starter pack here and i'm going to click on the soda can i'm going to change the alignment to bottom so that we're aligned to the bottom of the can, and then we'll click OK. We'll drop down group one, we'll go to particle replicator, and we're gonna change the position for our X and Y to zero. That's where we centered our, our scene. That's where um, we went ahead and made our origin point in Mocha earlier. Then we'll drop down the particle look, and we'll lower the particle size, just making our soda can smaller. a little bit too small 
something like that. And there you have it, folks. We've got a 3D solved scene. We've gone ahead, we've put in a 3D object. And there's more we can do to this. We can add lights, we can cast shadows, we can use ambient occlusion, motion blur, and uh, all that kind of fun stuff. But I just wanted to show you real quickly how to do a camera solve with Mocha Pro and how to import and position a 3D object into that scene. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please go ahead, like, share, comment on it, and of course, subscribe to the channel so that you guys can always get updated whenever we come up with new tutorials. Once again, this is Levi with Food Fight VFX, and we'll see you next time.